Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar, Romantic Experiences on the Island of Ireland. This webinar will be hosted by Sandra Moffat, Canada Manager with Tour Tourism Ireland, who we'll hear from very soon. And I'm Dan McDonald, Sales and Marketing Development Associate with Baxter Media. Today is Thursday, January 27th, 2022. Now, just before we get into things, I'd like to let our audience know that at the end of this webinar, you'll have the chance to ask questions to our panel of presenters. To do so, just type those into the Q&A section of the public chat box, which is towards the right-hand side of your screen, and those questions will be answered in due time. And remember, this is a live session, so your patience is appreciated during any technical difficulties that might arise. I will now hand things over to Sandra Moffat, Canada Manager with Tourism Ireland. Welcome, Sandra. Thanks, Dan, and good to see everybody. A very warm Irish welcome to our romantic experiences on the Island of Ireland session this afternoon. As Dan said, my name is Sandra Moffat. I'm Tourism Ireland's Manager for Canada. Um, and thank you all for taking the time to tune in today. It feels like it's been a little bit of a while since we all connected, even virtually. So I hope you're all surviving the winter weather and looking forward to sunnier days ahead, full of travel, we hope. And we're super excited to share some ideas and inspirations on how you and your clients can enjoy romantic experiences on the island of Ireland. We're all feeling very romantic in the lead up to Valentine's Day. And we know Ireland is a destination high in demand for couples. Um, there's lots of ways to make an extra special experience for your clients, which our fantastic presenters will be able to share with you today. So our presenters today, we have Michelle McGuire. Michelle is CEO for Ireland's Blue Book, a marketing professional with 25 years experience, both domestic and international. And Michelle has managed the Blue Book for the past 14 years. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Ireland's Blue Book, it's a romantic collection of Ireland's Irish country house hotels, manor houses, castles and restaurants located all throughout the island of Ireland. And Michelle will share some of those highlights with you. Next up, we have Beth Greenan. Beth is Group Sales Manager for Galgorm Castle. Beth has over 20 years experience in the hospitality and event sector, and 15 of these are with Galgorm, so nobody knows her better. Um, Beth has a wealth of experience in providing luxury experiences to an international client base. And last but certainly not least, we have Brian Fitzgerald with his stunning fire um, fizzling away in the background there. Brian is the North American Development Manager for Specialized Travel Services. So Brian joins the team there in 2019 and has been designing personalized Irish experiences for 32 years. So thank you so much to our partners for being there, for being here with us today. It is the evening time for you guys, and I really appreciate you taking the time to join us. Before I kick off and hand you over to our partners, we just wanted to share some exciting news. It's our latest state destination update. So Ireland is open for travel. Um, as of last week, almost all restrictions have come to an end on the island. Restaurants and bars have resumed normal trading hours, restrictions on indoor and outdoor events, including big sporting fixtures and major events are lifted. Now face coverings are still required in shops and public transport and other public establishments and the COVID vaccine cert still does remain a requirement for international travel for your arrivals into Ireland. But the easing of these restrictions does not come at a cost of public safety. There does remain a requirement for all businesses to uphold safety measures for the prevention of spreading COVID. And it's also important to note that in Ireland, well over 90% of our population is fully vaccinated. So Ireland has been very cautious to date. So this comes as really, really exciting news for us. Um, it's really a good way to kick off the 2022 season to a strong start. Now, Ireland is a leading destination in Europe and globally. We've been named in a number of prestigious top travel lists very recently, such as Condé Nast, who named Galway on the West Coast, the ninth best city in the world. Ashford was voted the seventh top resort in Europe, and Ireland is ranked as the 14th top country overall to visit. Time Out also named Dublin 8, one of the world's coolest neighbourhoods. And um, that's very near where I grew up. So I'm biased, but now it's been proven. <laughs> and Belfast was very recently also awarded the UNESCO City of Music, celebrating that city's rich musical heritage and recognising the importance of music to the country and to Belfast's future. So we know that your clients and hopefully yourselves will fall in love with Ireland. We're confident of that, but we're also focusing on some romance. So here's a little short video that showcases eight ways to fall in love in Ireland. And I hope some of you pick up on the little Game of Thrones reference that's in here.
it is not only all of those amazing things that make Ireland spectacular and romantic, it's also the wit, the warmth and the wisdom of the people there that makes the island so special. We hear it from clients constantly, time and time again, that it's really the people that make the destination come to life and stand out. And in Ireland, we've been waiting for so long now to welcome you back. So we're really ready to give clients a romantic experience on this beautiful island and know the service and warm welcome that they'll get when they're in Ireland will make them feel like the most special people in the world as they should do. We also have incredible romantic landscapes. You know, it's the perfect couple's photo backdrop. The scenery in Ireland gives you a sense of warmth and for a small island, the variety is exceptional. You can have breathtaking road trips along the wild Atlantic way to peaceful evening walks in one of the island's beautiful cities. There's so much that the island can offer to make the trip extra romantic. Ireland's also a fantastic destination wedding location. It's unique in that it has a variety of options to host a dream destination wedding, whether it's indoors, outdoors, religious, spiritual, modern, historical. Um, there's a few words that can describe Ireland in that respect. And some of the most unique Irish wedding venues include Castle Ruins, you can get married on the cliffs of Moher, the Enchanted Forest at Killian Manor and the Moon Garden at Drina Estate. There's no shortage of options. And for a luxury experience, there's always one of our luxury castles, such as Ashford Castle or Adair Manor, which Brian and Michelle, no doubt, will give you a little bit of an update on, and the beautiful Galgorm Estate, which Beth will share the fairy tale wedding options that they offer. And while we were once known as quite a conservative country, it is important to note that modern Ireland is incredibly welcoming and inclusive. And we were the first country in the world to legalize same-sex marriage back in 2015. We also have incredible accommodation options that really make Ireland stand out and create that romantic couple's experience from elegant Georgian manors to stately castles, historic hotels, cozy bed and breakfast, luxury boutique and designer lodges. There's really something to suit everyone's taste and requirements. You'll learn more from our partners today, but from quirky accommodation, like the bubble domes you see there on the left from County Fermanagh, lighthouse stays on Clare Island or five star glamping. Then Castle and Manor stays. You know, Bally Finn was voted best resort in the world by Travel and Leisure. And um, places like Bally Na Hinch, which is surrounded by 700 acres of Connemara scenery and iconic renowned hotels. We also have luxury private hires as well. So, you know, for example, you can hire a yacht on Loch Corrib. You can rent a castle somewhere like Luttrellstown Castle Resort in Dublin, for example. There's no shortage of options. And let's not forget, um, before I hand over to our partners, food and drink. Um, sharing foodie experiences really is integral to a romantic getaway. So think of seafood chowder by the fire in a wind-whipped coastal pub or traditional Irish stew in the surrounds of a century, 18th century market. You know, you can have afternoon tea in a castle overlooking a misty loch. There's some amazing experiences, but food in Ireland isn't just about the taste, it's also about the place, the experience, the land, the sea, and the people who created that. So we have lots of romantic foodie experiences we can share depending on your client's itineraries. So know that we um, at Tourism Ireland or your tour operator or your DMC or whatever travel partners you might be working with are on hand to help you with any recommendations that you need. But now that's enough for me. Um, you're here to hear from our wonderful partners. So now I will pass you over to Michelle, who will share a little bit more about Ireland's Blue Book and their collection. Thank you so much, Sandra. And thank you for the opportunity to talk to you all today. So Ireland's Blue Book, we're a collection of country houses located throughout the island of Ireland. There's 59 in the collection, and we're going to do just a little whirlwind tour around the collection today for you. So what I would like you to do is take a journey with me. Imagine that your client is self-drive or chauffeur drive and they're traveling around Ireland. You want them to stay in romantic country houses and castles and hotels. And that's when you think of Ireland's Blue Book. Perhaps the first stay would be in Mount Juliet Estate where they can go golfing, use the equestrian center or dine in the Michelin star restaurant. Or perhaps they'll go along on their journey to Ballymaloo House and go to the cookery school. I'm hoping tonight you'll get a sense of the beautiful properties that we have in Ireland and how romantic they are, no matter where your client wanders across the island. In fact, I think if you look at the 59 properties, we cover nearly every county. Some of them are tiny boutique style hotels with only six bedrooms. And then some of them are the larger historic houses with up to 100 bedrooms. 
but there will be special places for you to pick out for your client. Now, one thing I'd, I'd like to draw your attention to is the fact that these are all on large estates. So a lot of us, we've been, you know, closeted for the last couple of years in our houses and, you know, we haven't been able to get out. But now when your clients come to Ireland, they can stay in these beautiful hotels and wander around 500 up to 1,000 acre estates. So I think that would be very, very special. Now, it's not just country houses. We also have castles in the collection. And Sandra spoke a little bit about the romance of the castles in Ireland, and it's certainly the case. Now, I'm going to park romance for a moment, and I'm going to be very practical with you. I want to draw your attention to Barberstown Castle. It's what I call a convenient castle. It's just 30 minutes from Dublin Airport. So imagine that your client, they're flying out from Dublin Airport early in the morning. Wouldn't it be wonderful to take them back within 30 minutes of the airport and give them that Instagram moment before they leave the island of Ireland? Or perhaps if they're self-drive, when they pick up the car, you just take them to Barberstown so they get used to driving on the other side of the road. All the castles on the screen do destination weddings. They're of different sizes. Little Belique Castle is just 10 bedrooms and it's situated on the Wild Atlantic Way. Castle Leslie is where one of the Beatles, Paul McCartney, got married. And Castle Duro, the brides and grooms love the gardens there. So there's some beautiful romantic castles. And I would say when it comes to your clients coming to Ireland, there is a castle for every budget. So you know, it may be not the whole eight days, but you can certainly have a castle for a night or two on any itinerary. Now, the next one is Glen Castle. That's per perhaps at the higher end of the budget. And this is one of our private hires, 15 bedrooms. Now, let's leave the castles aside for the moment and go for some other romantic um, accommodation in the Blue Book. How about glamping? It's a little bit different. It's not my idea of romance, but for some people, it's absolutely wonderful. And this is in Kerry. Or Sandra mentioned some of the fabulous lighthouses we have in Ireland. This is Clare Island Lighthouse. It's off the west coast of Ireland. It's 20 minutes on the ferry out to the island, so I'd certainly put it in the middle of an itinerary. We actually have had weddings here, tiny weddings, maybe just the bride and groom or the groom and groom or bride and bride. So there's only five bedrooms, but it's a wonderful place to get married. Very, very special. But it's also a wonderful place just to get away from it all and stare out into the Atlantic. And this is Ballyfin, and Sandra mentioned it earlier. It's an award-winning hotel. And I want you to come through the doors with me so you get a sense of what you can expect on the inside of a Blue Book property. Beautiful, romantic bedrooms. Think of four-poster beds. Think of fantastic art. Think of wonderful antiques. That's what you can expect from a Blue Book property. And all of these properties can be booked through your preferred tour operator from Ireland or direct with the hotel, whichever you prefer, whichever is easy for you with commission. That's how you book a Blue Book property. This is Carnan House Hotel in Killarney. Again, a wonderful romantic bedroom looking out over the park. It's not all the romance of the bedrooms. It's also the bathtubs that the Blue Book is famous for. It's bedrooms and bathtubs. That's what adds to the romance of all these houses. And just think of all of your clients who've been watching Bridgerton or Downton Abbey, you know, during the lockdown. Coming away and staying in one of these wonderful properties will bring all of that alive for them. Now, we've talked about the architecture and the inside of the houses. But what's romantic about Ireland is really our scenery throughout the island of Ireland. And this is Connemara in the west of Ireland. And we're lucky to have a Blue Book house, several Blue Book houses in Connemara. This is Kareva House. And this is the view out the window of Kareva House. A lot of the Blue Book hotels and country houses were built by the British aristocracy in Ireland. So they have absolutely fantastic views. You can hire a little boat, go out onto these tiny islands and have a picnic. How romantic would that be for your clients? Or if your clients are in County Kerry, a very famous destination on the Ring of Kerry, they could stay in the wonderful Five Star Park Hotel in Kinmare and dine in the morning looking out over the bay. Now, it's just that our dining rooms and where you can dine in the Blue Book Romantic, but also the food that Sandra talked about. In the Blue Book, we're lucky to have five Michelin stars and also something that we call celebrity chefs in Ireland. They have their own TV shows. So a lot of our hotels in the Blue Book collection are extremely famous for their food. This is Gregan's Castle in Clare, very close to the Cliffs of Moher. Now, I want to take you through, again, the doors of one of our properties. This is the last place I stayed before lockdown. It's Glenlow Abbey, a five-star hotel in the west of Ireland, just in Galway City. 
You could dine outside if your client was staying there or the, uh, they can arrange a picnic on the estate for you. This is not me having the picnic. I'm a farmer's daughter, so we don't do picnics out in the meadows. But it's very romantic things that they can arrange for you. What we did when we stayed there is we dined on um, the carriages. They have Pullman carriages from the Orient Express on the estate and we dined there and it was absolutely lovely and romantic. This isn't us, okay? This is not my husband, anyone thing. These are models, but it was a wonderful romantic thing to do. And then we went back into the hotel and um, watched the movie, The Orient Express and their in-house cinema. So that was a wonderful romantic evening. It's just an example of what you can do in the blue book. Now, another part, when we were coming out of lockdown, I visited Northern Ireland, a fantastic part of the island of Ireland. And I'm not going to steal Beth's thunder. She's going to talk to you a lot more about the beauty of Northern Ireland. But I'm going to pause for a moment where I paused in Bushmills Inn. This is a 16th century inn in Northern Ireland, just beside the Giant's Causeway. And we're lucky in the Blue Book collection to have two coaching inns in the collection, welcoming travellers for hundreds and hundreds of years. And the reason I want to talk to you about Bushmills Inn is I think this um, inn is as romantic in the depths of winter as it is in the heart of summer. And that's often the case with some of the Blue Book properties. They, in the winter with the open fires and the libraries, they're absolutely wonderful places for your clients to stay. So we'll just continue um, our whirlwind tour and we're going to stop in Ballyfin. Ballyfin, award-winning five-star property. We have seven five-star hotels in our collection. It's actually the property I stayed in for my first wedding anniversary. Incredibly romantic. And the place that I stayed on my 10th wedding anniversary was the Shepherd's Huts in Virginia Park Lodge. So I went from the castle to the caravan. But what I want to share with you is how romantic both accommodations were. We sat on the steps of the little shepherd's huts and had a fantastic bottle of wine and it was a really really romantic evening. This is what you can expect from accommodation in Ireland with the Blue Book collection. So if you want to more lear learn more about the Blue Book just send me an email I'll send you on a copy and also like I said to emphasize how you blue bo uh, book a Blue Book property is through your preferred tour operator whoever you have that handles Ireland or directly directly with the hotels. Thank you so much. That's been a whirlwind tour around the island of Ireland, but just giving you a sense of the romantic properties in the Blue Book collection. I'm going to hand you over now to the wonderful Beth, and she's going to talk more about fantastic Galgorm, which I can't wait to go to see, and Northern Ireland. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Michelle, and hello, everybody, and uh, welcome uh, to Galgorm. I, as, as Michelle said, going to give you a bit of a, a whirlwind tour of Northern Ireland and also our estate. I was busy making notes there as Michelle was speaking about all the places that I now need to visit in the in the Blue Book. Um, fantastic presentation, so thank you for that. Um, so I represent Galgorm Collection. Um, we are a portfolio of hospitality properties in Northern Ireland. So our our signature property would be Galgorm Resort, and that would be the original um, uh, hotel within the collection. In the last 18 months, we have acquired two smaller boutique properties, and we also have a number of restaurants and private event spaces. Um, we're well known for weddings on the island of Ireland. It's something that uh, we are renowned for, um, and I'm going to show you a little bit about that as we go through the presentation. Um, so. Galgorm Resort is located just on the map there in uh, a town called Ballymena. Uh, we are equidistant between Belfast city centre and the beautiful, um, stunning northern um, Irish coast, where you've got Bushmills, as Michelle just mentioned there, the Giant's Causeway, um, and lots of amazing scenery and landscape uh, for a romantic uh, backdrop. In terms of access from Dublin, we are two hours, um, and I know internationally um, that would normally be where you would fly into. And and then come up to the, uh, the, the north. In terms of what there is to see and do in Northern Ireland, um, obviously part of um, the island of Ireland, um, but in, in Northern Ireland itself, we're very compact. So you could create a fantastic itinerary for a client um, if they're staying 24 hours, 48 hours, um, and link that in obviously with a wider tour of Ireland. Um, so Belfast city center wise, you've obviously got the icon iconic Titanic Belfast. Um, Titanic, um, the exhibition center is actually getting a major revamp. It's 10 years, um, it's 10 years old this year and they're redoing, redoing the whole exhibition. Um, so for clients that you've, uh, who have maybe 
actually visited Titanic over the last 10 years whilst it's been open. Um, it's getting a full refresh and, and some really unique um, pieces that are, uh, that are coming to um, uh, be exhibited there. So onto the property um, itself. So I'm going to talk mostly about Galgorm Resort. As I say, it's our signature um, property as part of the collection. We're sat on over 200 acres. Um, I have been with the uh, the hotel, um, as Sandra said, for over 15 years. Um, when I first started, it was a 24 bedroom boutique hotel. Um, and we now have 166 bedrooms and units. So they have invested, uh, it's owned by two brothers, uh, privately owned and they have spent over 60 million over the last um, 25 years um, creating a, a, a destination um, property. Um, absolutely ideal for a romantic getaway, um, but also amazing for a wedding, which I will I'll talk you through. Um, so we have um, a selection of different um, bedrooms. Um, again, bedrooms and bathtubs are also a feature at Galgorm. Um, you can see the bathroom there in our signature suite which also has its own private balcony with a hot tub that overlooks the river. Uh, what we opened this year was a suite called the Spa Suite. It has its own sauna and steam room within the suite itself, and it has private access to our thermal uh, spa uh, via a spiral staircase. So it's, it's really quite a, a fantastic um, room. And that's the view, the couple you can see in the robes there, that's the view out of the room of the spa suite. Um, we also have a great selection within the property of unique accommodation. So we have 25 quaint little cottages, uh, one and two bedrooms, all have full access to the facilities within the hotel, but also um, have their own space. So ideal for couples who want to maybe stay more than one night, um, base themselves there, have a lounge and kitchen area, but also use the facilities within the hotel. You can see the bottom right hand side is our shepherd's huts. So we all also have created a little village of shepherd's huts. There's 15 of them. They all have their own private outdoor um, copper bathtub, which you can see on the left there, um, a decking area with a fireplace, which um, can be lit at nighttime. And again, you can hear the, the, the wonderful sounds of the river um, going past you there. So we also have within the grounds of the resort, three private houses. So from a Georgian, um, original Georgian um, estate um, house um, to Red Oaks, which is actually one of the owners of the hotel, it was his private house before he, um, he moved away. We have recommissioned that into a five bedroom, um, unbelievable um, house with private hot tub. It's got its own barbecue area outside. It's got its own grounds. Um, again, all walking distance from the main hotel. Um, so ideal for a couple, but also for family groups, um, if that is part of any of your um, client mix. So inspiring venues with, with eight venues within the resort itself. So it lends itself to many different types of celebrations, but weddings, as I say, is what we are known for. Uh, we have hosted the first humanist cel uh, celebration uh, back in 2019. So as Sandra was saying about um, inclusivity, um, that is absolutely what we're all about here at the resort. Um, you can see top left is our phantom house. So original stone building. Um, the back of that has a terrace that you can sign the register um, overlooking the waterfall um, and we added on there um, a little terrace for for photographs bottom right is our ghost house and um, both named after rolls-royce cars that we have as part of the fleet at the hotel nothing to do with phantoms or ghosts but it's always a bit of a talking point when we do our show rounds um, stunning settings, as I say, from the Renaissance suite top right hand side, which is a very art deco feel um, and um, to smaller, more intimate venues. So weddings from 20 up to 300 people um, we can accommodate within the grounds at Galgorm. These are just some of our real life weddings, just to show you some of the photographs. Um, nothing is better than a real life wedding shot to actually just show you um, some of the beautiful photographic opportunities within uh, the grounds. Bottom right hand side there is the chandelier garden. So that's actually inside a rhododendron bush and it's lit with chandeliers. Uh, we've had many a romantic proposal there and we are then just round the corner with a little wedding brochure to say, why don't you continue that by getting married at the resort and many people who propose at the resort do end up getting married um, with us and then sometimes having their babies um, baptism or christening which is always lovely we've got some great relationships with our clients that span many years for that reason 
So food and drink, as has already been alluded to, um, choice is the key when you when it comes to Galgorm. We have five restaurants on site, from informal Italian dining uh, to the beautiful conservatory, um, which does a great afternoon tea overlooking the river. Um, we have a 3 a.m. Rosette River Room restaurant. So for those destination weddings, um, if you have guests that are coming and staying two, three days, it makes um, amazing choice for pre and post celebrations, whether it's a, a next day barbecue, a brunch for your um, guests, lots of different options. We also have um, at the uh, the gin library, so one of Ireland's largest gin collections. Um, some special things we've done with couples or with clients um, is to create a bespoke serve of gin, maybe with a gin that's from where they're from, from their local village or town, um, and create a, a bespoke sort of cocktail. We do a daily gin tasting, and we have created our own gin um, from the botanicals within the grounds. We've also got the lively McKendries, so traditional Irish pub, right in the heart of the hotel, but a separate entrance from the outside, um, open fires, amazing whiskey collection, lots of little romantic snugs. So again, ideal for couples, um, but also larger groups um, alike and that can also be hired privately. The spa at Galgorm is really what we're renowned for. So a lot of the investment has been in creating this thermal spa village. Um, we are um, over three acres of outdoor thermal spa space all robed, um, private hot tub experiences right on the edge of the water. Uh, we have a palm house that has a cocktail bar in it. We've got an infinity pool, Himalayan salt chamber, um, some absolutely amazing um, spaces within that spa. Um, and again, that is included in all of our bed and breakfast rates. So um, that's included um, access for all. On-site activities, so as you would expect from a resort style property, we can do fishing, we've got a um, championship golf course, tennis, um, foraging experiences where you can go and get back to nature, um, forest bathing and mindfulness classes. Um, definitely post pandemic, that's that's what we're finding people want to do, just really sort of reconnect um, and spend time outside, um, plenty of scope and space for that. So I'm going to take you now to the Rabbit Retreat. Um, this is a newer property that we have, 33 bedrooms. Uh, the top left-hand um, picture you can see there is our outdoor spa. We we do like an, an outdoor spa. We're creating Irish spa experiences where you're outdoor, even in the middle of winter. Um, it's got a giant disco ball and that pool is all heated. So it's it's quite um, it's quite a unique and exceptional space. Uh, we also have a resident hotel dog, Florence. She's up there on the right hand side um, and guests just absolutely love that experience. Um, our resort and also our hotels are all um, pet friendly. Not that perhaps your clients would be bringing your pet from Canada, but just in case they do, uh, they are all very welcome. The function space that we have at the Rabbit is um, is called the Loft, and it's got this fantastic um, banquet tables. So they're fixed marble banquet tables, again, with the Game of Thrones sort of influence. That banquet style has, has been really popular, and this is a function room that can uh, cater for up to 150 people. This is, again, just some of our real life wedding images from weddings that we've hosted over the last um, year. The, the venue actually only opened last December, um, so it's very new and it's, uh, it's really causing a bit of a buzz in the wedding scene in Ireland. So on to Parisian, it's a city centre venue right opposite uh, City Hall. Um, it's open for a restaurant downstairs, but available exclusively for private hire. So it used to be um, a department store, historic Belfast department store. So it's got some, lots of unique um, features right in the heart of the city centre for people who are wanting that city centre experience in a city centre wedding. This is ideal. Um, it can also be hired for private dinners or anniversaries or, or different special occasions. Asians. And the latest addition to our property is called the Old Inn. It's again, very historic property. It's the Old Inn and it's in Crawford's Burn. We have renovated over the last few months, but still kept the integrity um, of the 16th century building. So you can see inside there exposed beams, again, very much like the Bushmills, open uh, fires, um, all about those sort of cozy corners and really romantic experiences. Um, four poster beds in the bedrooms, and again, function space currently being renovated to be um, launched at the end of 2022. Uh, we're right by Crawford's Burn Country Park, so again, fantastic uh, romantic coastal walks, 
five minutes from the hotel and gorgeous for um, opportunities for photographs for our wedding couples. So that is a whirlwind um, tour, similar to Michelle, just of Galgorm um, collection. Um, absolutely delighted to do to do business with you. Any further information you would like on that, on the destination wedding, then um, I would be more than happy to help. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you so much, Beth. That was amazing. And just some incredible visuals there. It really is the perfect photo backdrop, some stunning properties there. Um, now I will hand over to Brian, who's going to walk us through specialized travel services um, and how they can customize travel experiences for you and your clients. Okay. Here we go. Um, Hello and welcome. And uh, thank you, Beth and Michelle. Uh, we just got to see these beautiful romantic destinations in Ireland, uh, which I can't wait to get out and see more of. And um, now I'm here to, to let you know how we can work together to help you put those, those trips together. Um, uh, I, again, like I said, my name is Brian Fitzgerald. I'm with Specialized Travel Services. I have been planning customized trips uh, to Ireland for the last 32 years. Um, I, I first arrived here uh, as a visitor um, back in the 1900s and, and I fell in love with the place. So I've been coming back ever since and I've been living here full time for the last three years um, and uh, happy to be uh, here. Um, coming to you this evening from Ashford uh, Castle on the border of Mayo and Galway, and very happy that they were so gracious to let us broadcast this evening from one of their estate rooms, um, which is one of the things that we do. Uh, as you get to know us and as you work with us, uh, you'll realize that what we do, I think that's really unique, is we get out to all of the sites and we stay in them, we experience them, to say when we're talking to you about what your clients needs are that we can uh, make recommendations on uh, on our own experiences so it's really something that we've done and that we can give you you know uh, firsthand feedback on so I think that's really important for what we do so for specialized travel services I just want to tell you a little bit about who we are um, and how we can work together um, we're a family-owned company and we're Irish based We've been in business for 48 years now, um, and um, we're actually also part of the Cronin Travel Group, and um, which gives us great access to uh, their resources. Uh, the Cronin Travel Group has about, we have 75 personalized vehicles, uh, custom coaches that seat 52 people, um, all the way down to our Vianos, which are Mercedes vans that seat seven. Uh, those we use for our custom chauffeur drives. Um, a lot of what we do is custom travel, and uh, those chauffeur drives are very special experiences when you and your significant other to wake up in the morning in Ashford Castle, walk downstairs, and there's your very own chauffeur to open the door for you and take you on your own personalized uh, tour for the day. So, like I said, we're an Ireland... Uh, we're based here in Ireland and we focus on Ireland only. Um, so that's really what our expertise is and designing those first class customized tra uh, travel experiences throughout the country. Um, as a family owned business, uh, we have the ability to make decisions uh, rather quickly. Uh, we don't have that uh, a very, I guess, for lack of a better word, corporate structure. Um, although we are professionals, uh, we, we're very personal, so you're going to get the attention from owners and, uh, and, and our managing director personally, which is, which is great. Um, one of the other advantages of using specialized travel services is that since we're based here in Ireland, when your clients are in the country, that they have, uh, the ability to get in touch with us, uh, 24 seven. So we, we're always uh, available by telephone um, or by email, and we are here so that um, 
you know, if there's anything they need, we can use our network to 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 help them out. Um, okay. So, like I said, we are Ireland only specialists. We've been around for 48 years, and we kind of pride ourselves on our relationships with the suppliers. So, we've been doing business uh, with the suppliers since since the start of the company. And um, you know, one of the things that is also great is our team in, in the office has been with the company for you know some 20, 25 years, and those relationships have developed over time which I find great because anytime I travel to one of the properties that we use, they, uh, they know who we are and uh, th there, there's that personal relationship that we really um, find uh, to be very helpful. And I know we're focusing on the, the romantic side of Ireland uh, today, and I don't think I could think of a more romantic place. Uh, there's so much to offer here um, from, uh, uh, castle stays to romantic getaways. Um, like I said, I, I'm in a castle right now with a fire burning behind me, and uh, I think it would be a, a very romantic getaway. And one of the other things we've been able to do in the last two years is um, partner with uh, a group called Eloping in Ireland. And what they do is uh, they plan weddings, and what we do. Uh, is we plan the travel around the weddings. So, for instance, if your if your couple wants to get married here in Ireland at one of the romantic getaways and they want to be on their own, that's great. We could put them in a chauffeur drive, take them all around the country, and uh, really give them that firsthand, customized, uh, personalized uh, travel experience. And also, if they want to bring family and friends with them. Um, you know, a wedding has a lot of elements that need to be put into them. And what, what we do is we take that travel element out of it. So what we can help them do is make sure that your friends and your family are taken care of from the minute they get off the airplane until the minute they get back to the airport to leave. So we do a, a lot of uh, those trips. And, and just to show you a little bit of the scope of that, uh, eloping in Ireland last year during the pandemic, unfortunately, they they did uh, postpone over 170 weddings. Um, so they're dealing with a, a, a large amount of, uh, of a wedding service and, and we're very happy to be a part of that. It's actually been a very good, pardon the pun, it's been a very good marriage for the, for the two of us. So we're happy to be a, uh, a part of the eloping in Ireland. Like I said, our tours are built, uh, but they're also customizable. So anything that you'd like to do here, or if, you're, if your clients have any requests, we can do it for them. Uh, we do have uh, castle tours. These would be chauffeur driven. Um, and, uh, and again, like I said, we can cater to any of their needs while they're here in the country. Um, these are just some of the examples of some of the castles and manors that we have uh, that, that, that we do business with and um, some of the trips that we offer. Yeah. So we, again, with catering to your clients' needs, we could pretty much deliver anything they, they would like. So you have the food trails, which I think are incredible. Um, I have a lot of people out, they come and they want to experience the, the cuisine of Ireland, which has some of the most incredible restaurants in the world. Uh, which I will be dining in this evening, which I, I'm very happy to be doing. This is the eloping in Ireland business that we've been doing that I kind of mentioned. And uh, we're very happy to put those very special romantic getaways together for these couples. They've been so nice to work with. And it really is, it's their exciting day and their, it's their special day. And for us to be a part of it, it's, it's great to be, to be asked to do that, to have that responsibility. It's been really nice. And then this is, when uh, you're booking with us, um, give me a call, send me an email, let me know what your clients need and, and I'll talk you through it or we can talk about it together. You tell me what their, what their points are that they want to hit, the things that they want to see and their must-dos and I will kind of help you tune it in 
so we can make that perfect getaway happen for them. A lot of times uh, uh, we uh, people from North America see Ireland as a very small country and we try to do it all at once. But our idea is to help you do all of the things important uh, in a good time so that you can really enjoy yourself and, and not just be rushing all, all over, just checking off boxes. So we really try to help you get that personalized experience. So it's something that you're going to remember um, and, and we can do that for you. Uh, once we tune it in and we get the trip to where you want it to be, we'll give you a personalized itinerary for your clients and uh, you can share it with them. If there's anything they want to change, like I said, everything is customizable, so we can do that for you as well. Then we confirm the booking. You give us the green light and we make sure you get paid uh, and, and your, your commissions are, are paid very promptly um, from us to you. So thanks very much. That's what I have uh, to show you today. And I, I'm very happy to be able to join and be in such great company. So, so thanks again for having me. Thanks so much, Brian. That was fantastic. And also, of course, to Michelle and to Beth. Um, guys, we know that the hassle factor is really a primary barrier for travel at the moment and how difficult the past couple of years has been for you all. So I suppose a key reason for us to showcase these services and our partners is that these guys are true experts in the industry. And, and our aim at Tourism Ireland is to make things as easy as possible for you all to start booking travel again. Um, we have a few resources. I'm sure many of you are familiar with these. Um, we do have our Facebook group. It's dedicated to you. It's our trade group. So we will send the link in the follow-up email that we're sending you all tomorrow. It's Discover Ireland CA, which is our consumer Facebook page. If you click groups, there is a dedicated link there where you can get access to that exclusive group. So we have deals from our partners exclusive to travel agents. So you'll be able to get exclusive commissionable rates. We have access to our fan trips applications with details on how to qualify for those. And um, so just join that if you're not already a member of that group. We also have our trade easing. So go to trade.ireland.com. Again, we'll give you all these links in a follow up email. So don't worry about uh, furiously scribbling anything down, but you can sign up to our trade news there. So any announcements at all that we have applicable to you, like Ireland's reopening announcement, any fan trips, any information that we think is critical for you selling Ireland, we'll send that out via that easing. We also have our um, marketing database resource, which is irelandscontentpool.com. So as someone who worked in marketing and social media for many years, it can be very difficult to constantly find new content, find uh, you know permissions-free images, all that good stuff. So we've housed everything for you on this little website. It's free to sign up. It just takes two seconds. You put in your email address, put in a password, and then you'll be given access to over 45,000 images um, of Ireland. So tons of content there. We also have free video for you to use as well. And if you enter, you know, Balik Castle or Galgorm Castle in the search box, it'll populate with tons of images from these properties. So if you are looking to sell certain properties or certain areas of the country, if you put in Dublin, it'll populate with all these um, images of Dublin. So hopefully very easy for you to use and completely free of charge. So do make sure that you make use of that. In the handout section on the right of your panel here, we have also got a Valentine's toolkit. So lots of romantic experiences available on the island, as you've seen. And we have some images, some beautiful videos, some fun GIFs, Zoom backgrounds if you're doing any virtual webinars or meetings, and some fun facts about Valentine's in Ireland. So if you'd like to use them on your channel, uh, channels, you're more than welcome to do so as well. You have our information. We're at Discover Ireland CA. That's our consumer Facebook. Go to Ireland CA on Twitter. And we do have our Instagram account also at Tourism Ireland. So make sure that you're following our channels. Again, all the content that we share there is available to share across your channels as well. So feel free to use what we're already putting out there and be able to use that to market Ireland to your clients as well. Hopefully that was useful and um, I think fantastic presentations. I think you'll all agree from Michelle, Beth and Brian. So thank you again, guys, for taking the time out of your evening to join us today. We do have a couple more webinars coming up. So we have a Built Heritage webinar that's focusing on Ireland's ancient history um, and sustainability, which we know is a big ask from a lot of clients at the moment. People are looking for those sustainable vacations and wellness experiences and um, in destinations all over the world. And Ireland has tons of that. So we're gonna focus on sustainability. Um, upcoming. So we'll send the dates and the save the dates for those in that follow up email tomorrow as well. And last but certainly not least, um, all these virtual opportunities are amazing. We're so lucky to be able to bring our partners who are dialing in live from Ireland um, today. But what we're more excited about is being able to get back out on the road and meet you all in person. Again, it's been such a long time. 
So save the date because we'll be back on the road in May. And so on Monday, May 9th, we're going to be in Toronto. On Tuesday, May 10th, we'll be going out to Calgary. On May 11th, we'll be in Vancouver. Um, and on Thursday, May 12th, we're also going out even further west to Victoria. And um, we have really great air access from Ireland this year. Um, we have lots of lots of direct routes from um, Toronto. So at the moment, we have Aer Lingus and Air Canada flying direct year round, multiple times a week, three and four times per week. In April, Transat are also coming on stream. And then later in May, we have a brand new route with WestJet also coming on stream with um, from Toronto right into Dublin. Um, we also have direct access seasonally from Calgary, from Halifax and from Vancouver. So lots and lots of easy ways to get direct to Ireland from all across Canada this year. So make sure you save those dates in your diary because we're looking forward to getting back out onto the road. A big thank you um, from myself. And again, thank you to our presenters, Michelle, Beth and Brian for joining us today. I saw a few um, questions in the chat box. So we'll just hand over to Dan. If Dan, you might, might want to throw out some questions there for myself or the partners. Definitely. Thank you so much, Sandra. And thank you, Brian, Michelle and Beth. Uh, there were a few questions submitted. Not a whole lot, but uh, we have some time to read those out. Um, so Ursula asks... Does Bellic Castle have any historical connection to beautiful Bellic pottery? No, that's, um, that's I guess, for me. Bellic Castle is over in Mayo, in North Mayo. So, no, it's about two hours from Bellic pottery. There's absolutely no um, connection. Both places are worth visiting, though, on a trip to Ireland. Bleak Pottery is fabulous, um, just on the Donegal, kind of Fermanagh border. No, Bleak Castle, family-owned, no connection. You'll find that in Ireland that many names are the same. Sandra will back me up on this, which makes it more confusing for you. We have <laughs> Cashel in Connemara. We have Cashel Palace, one of our new hotels opening near the Rock of Cashel. There's a lot of these names that you see reoccurring throughout the island of Ireland, just to make it a little bit more challenging when you're touring around. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Michelle. And uh, one question I believe was answered by Sandra already. We had, uh, Teresa was asking, would love a fam opportunity that included some of these properties to experience firsthand to pass on to clients as firsthand is always best. Yeah, totally agree. I think seeing is believing and especially, you know, in a post pandemic world, you know, people need that, you know, security that the experience on the ground is incredible and um, we are really looking forward to being able to host a farm it'll be later this year we don't have the details and the exact properties or anything like that just yet and um, as you guys are all intimately aware there is still currently travel restrictions in place here in Canada with a non-essential travel advisory so until that's lifted we won't be doing anything outbound um, but as soon as it is we'll get the details over to you so again watch out on the easy and watch out on that trade Facebook group we'll send you the information as soon as we have it great thank you Sandra and um Cindy asks, uh, regarding the trade shows, where will the trade shows be held in each city? Uh, will we get an email with details? Yeah, absolutely. So we don't have the exact venues confirmed at the moment. We're working through those details at the minute. So do save the dates. And um, they will likely be late afternoon events. So maybe kicking off from about 4 p.m. or so. Um, and we'll be in central locations that are easily accessible in each city. So in Toronto, in Calgary, and in Vancouver, we will be in and around the downtown core of those cities. But exact venue details to follow. Thanks, Sandra. And Cindy also asks... Brian, do you only work as a wholesaler to travel agents or do you also work with consumers? And if both, what is the advantage to someone working with a travel agent for your services and our advantage as well? Well, yeah, yes, we do. We work with consumers and we work with agents. Um, some of the advantages, some of the advantages of working with us um, as an agent, um, I mean, we will give you the same attention and and uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one, uh, time as we would with one of our clients, um, direct clients. But uh, for for working with agents, uh, I I just one of the things I, I like is a couple of the reviews that we just got is that um, one of them mentioned that uh, we do have the time for you and we do um, pick up the phone and get back to you uh, quickly. And, and I also think we, you know, we uh, we we have those relationships for a long time. I don't know if that's the answer to your question, but um, I would love to have a chat with you uh, sometime one on one, and we can talk about you know what we can do for you personally. Uh, and, you know, we're, we're there for you for you guys, and we understand how important your business is. So so we will look out for your best interests. So. 
That's great. Thanks, Brian. And Elwin asks, are there any packages that include many music opportunities for groups? Um, can I answer this one real quick? Uh, yeah. Music pa music packages for groups. Go for it, Brian. Yeah. So so yeah. So we have a couple of, a couple of these. So um, there's a few things that we've been doing on the music scene. We have a couple of artists that were due to travel with us prior to the beginning of COVID. Um, that was actually uh, two artists that were traveling with fans, and we were actually going to have their buses all around the country um, and they're playing at different venues that we were we were setting up which was very um interesting and it was going to be a really fun trip we will be doing that again um also as far as um musical tours you know we do put together those uh as well so we can help you get to a destination that's uh for instance you can end up in gus o'connor's in Doolin at a session on any given night we can put that together for you so that you know that where you get to is going to be a, a, a musical um, based area. So, so we can definitely put together uh, music, musical based trips for you. We love doing that actually. Amazing. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. And we definitely have time for uh, one or two more here. Let's see. Uh, let's get to the last question submitted into the Q and a here. This is from Darcy. Darcy asks, uh, is there any news on Halifax to Dublin flights being reinstated soon? Yeah, there is um, positive news, luckily. So WestJet do plan to relaunch the Halifax route. As far as I'm aware, that's going to be early May. May 2nd was the last date I heard. Um, but yes, the plan is that from May through October, we'll have that direct route at minimum three times a week. Oh, amazing. Thanks, Sandra. And the very last question here is from Carol, who asks, um, sorry if I missed it, but how do we get in touch with you, Brian? Uh, my contact information should be right here. Um, you can definitely uh, visit us at special-ireland.com. Uh, you can call me on the 1-800 number and uh, send me an email. Uh, we'll get back to you or, or one of the team will. And uh, yeah, we'd be happy to talk to you uh, anytime. That is perfect. Thanks so much. Yeah, and a reminder to everyone too that an email will be sent probably tomorrow or the next day and with all of our pre uh, presenters contact information um, and some images of their properties and things like that so just watch out for that email in your inbox and everyone's direct contact information will be provided absolutely thanks sandra so that pretty much wraps things up but uh, on, be on behalf of baxter media i'd like to thank everyone for attending this webinar today Thank you all for taking time out of your Thursday for, to be here with us. And if you happen to miss part of the webinar today, uh, the recording will definitely be made available tomorrow on their Baxter Media YouTube channel. So uh, even if you don't see it in your inbox right away, first thing in the morning, you can always just go to the Baxter Media YouTube channel, which is the blue and, blue and black logo against the white background. So I'd like to give a huge thank you to Sandra, Beth, Michelle, and Brian for being here with us today. Thank you all so much for presenting. Thank you. Thanks, thank you, guys. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Good night. Good evening.